Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. So you are planning on fully migrating to Linux Mint from Windows. But what is holding you back is the fact that some programs are fully compatible with Windows and not Linux Mint, like Office 365. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to fully migrate to Linux Mint and keep all your programs and data from Windows by creating a virtual machine of your current PC. The first step is to create a full Windows backup. I have all the necessary links that I'm going to be talking about in this video in the description box below. Second, we need to turn this Windows PC into a virtual machine. For that, I'll be using Paragon Hard Disk Manager 15. The link is in the description box below. The program is not free. If you can find a free one that would do the same, then use it. Once installed, go ahead and run it. And here click on P2V Copy. This means PC to Virtual Machine Copy next to the wizard. Now here when it asks you what hard drive you want to copy to the virtual machine select the Windows hard drive. This one here is my Windows hard drive that contains all my programs and my data. Now I'll walk you through my hard drive so you won't be confused. The one on top here is an empty hard drive which I'm probably going to use to install Linux Mint. The one underneath is my programs hard drive that I have TeamSpeak and uh, Oracle VirtualBox. Underneath that one is my main operating system that contains Microsoft Office, all my data. And this one here is an external hard drive where I store my virtual machines. The hard drive to copy to the virtual machine is the main hard drive, the one that contains the Windows operating system, usually local disk C. Select the drive by doing so, system reserved and local disk should be also selected. If not, put a check mark there. You can also include other drive if you want to. Okay, once done, click on next. My mouse is not working. Now select the visualization software. We're going to use Oracle VirtualBox and click on Next. Now here, make a note of the uh, virtual machine name and memory. This is a Windows 7 64 bit with a memory size of 2 gigabyte. Next. And here, I'm going to edit the uh, controller. I don't want to use ID. You can click on Next if you want, but I'm going to click on that little tool icon on the right and select the controller to be Serial ATA. Now, also make a note of that. Click Close and click on Next. Now here, select where you want to store this virtual machine. I would recommend you to, to select an external drive, a USB drive, or if you have an internal hard drive where you would like to save it, that is not going to be affected by formatting and installing Linux, then do so. In this case, I'm going to use my program's hard drive and I'll place it inside of my Windows 7 uh, PC folder. Done. OK. Click Next to start creating a virtual machine of your Windows system. That includes, like I said earlier, your data and programs. Once done, click on Finish to exit the wizard. Now, just to verify that it has created that uh, virtual machine, I'm going to go to my Programs hard drive. Inside my Windows 7 uh, folder, and there it is. It has created a virtual machine out of my current Windows PC. Okay, I have fully installed Linux Mint. The next thing to do is go to Menu, Software Manager, enter the password. Here, search for VirtualBox. And double click VirtualBox Non Free. This doesn't mean you have to pay. If you want to know more about the non-free, uh, the link to my website is in the description box below. And here you should have an icon that says installed, but since I already installed it, it says removed. Now once installed, head over back to the menu and search for VirtualBox. From here you can uh, add a link to the desktop or you can run it from here.
Now click on New. Name your operating system, in, in this case is Windows 7. And it's a 64-bit version, remember? Click Next. I'm going to add RAM to this. I'm going to add 2 gigabyte. Remember I told you to take note of the uh, memory size. Click Next. And now we're going to select Use an Existing Virtual Hard Disk. Click on the little folder icon to browse, and in my case, it should be on the Programs Drive inside my Windows 7 uh, PC folder. Here it is. You can double click to select or select it and click on Open. Click on Create. Now, don't immediately start. We're going to click on Settings. And here go to storage and make sure that the uh, attributes name is serial ATA because we change it instead of ATA remember now you can click on OK but I'm gonna go to display now this is optional and I'm gonna add more video memory remember like I said this is optional click on OK and then start Once you start, your your old Windows operating system should be booting up inside VirtualBox. Enter the password if you had any. And everything is back. Now you might see a little more icons than what you saw previously. That's because I used dual monitor and most of those uh, projects were on the other monitor but in your case you should have all the programs fully functional as you can see Microsoft Microsoft Office 365 well it's asking for my password I changed it and all of your data should be here while running uh, Linux Mint as your main operating system I'm gonna do a little cleanup here so it'll, it'll look like uh, the screen you saw at the beginning there it is. By the way, this is my uh, actual uh, Linux Mint migration. The good thing is like you can turn it off as if you would on a real PC and keep working on your main OS, now Linux. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.